so here's my first shelf they are mostly this is my favorite childhood collection series it's a portuguese series it's about time traveling and history so it's really really cool there are 16 books and here i have some encyclopedias about the sea mythology universe and history and all the books i read when i was a kid basically yeah this was what i read i was really weird and here is my twilight new moon eclipse and breaking dawn i have no idea why they are in the inverse order but it's okay because i intend not to look at them next shelf so this is my rainbow childhood shelf as you can see it's in rainbow because it's the only shelf that can do a rainbow and it has some of my childhood books you have Miss Vieira here is a Portuguese author very good love her work so much stuff more Miss Vieira here you have Annie Blinton and uh, more books childhood books more Miss Vieira Mafalda which is an Argentinian um, comic book some books that I had to read for school, like Favoriana, it's about a fair, more books, these two I used to love, both by the same authors as that collection over there, and this is one of my favorite books. L Joanna's Moon, or La Joanna, is a very interesting book that deals with drug and depression, just joyful things to read in your youth. So yeah, that's my childhood shelf. Here's my fantasy shelf. Here, this is a guy from Ireland. You have Ready Player One. You have an Anne Bishop fantasy book. You have the five first books in the A Song of Ice and Fire series. You have The Host. You have Aragon, Eldest, Breezing and Inheritance Ear. Here's the fifth wave by Rick Kensey. And here is the Across the Universe series with matching covers. This, this is a um, translated edition in Brazil and they kept this the same style in cover. So the last book also has a matching cover, which I found really cool. Even though it's not a great cover, it matches. Here is the shelf below the last one. Here you have Casual Vacancy, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen. Lots of books. This is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes in the Brazilian cover, which I found very, very beautiful and also matches with uh, The Girl You Left Behind, also by Jojo Moyes. The Cuckoo's Calling with the same cover. Some Jill Mansell books, which is one of my favorite chiclet authors. You have a book I haven't read before by the author of The Lord's Brother. Julia Quinn book. My Best Friend's Girl, two Sophie Kinzella books. I've Got Your Number is my favorite. So yeah, it's here. And also, Can You Keep a Secret? Up in the stairs again. This is a gift from my friends years and years ago. It's a boy and a girl, and they match. So here's my Portuguese, not only Portuguese, but my historical fiction collection. These are Portuguese, and they're all beautiful. If you are Portuguese, please. Ask about them. Loads and loads and loads and loads here. And then here we have Pope John by Dona Wolfolk Cross, which I love. You have a Spanish novel called The Queen of Our Name. Really good. Then you have my favorite Passion of Artemisia. You have probably heard about it if you watch my videos. I'm crazy about this book. If you want to read one historical fiction, this is a book to go, guys. The Romanov Bride, haven't read yet. Follow Giants by Ken Follett, signed. The Debuctive by Marcos Uzak, this is the Brazilian edition. I find this cover really beautiful. And then you have Mouse here, even though it's not fiction. It, because it's a comic book, I don't know where to put it. And it had space here, so yeah, it's here, Mouse. That's the volume 1 and 2. Here's the shelf you see behind me when I'm in my videos. This is the Tudor Court series by Philippa Gregory, the Constant Princess, the other Bolin Girl, the Bolin Inheritance, 
Queen's Fool, Queen's Lover and the other Queen. Then you have the first four books in the Cousins War series, the White Queen, Red Queen, the Lady of the Rivers and the Kingmaker's Doctor. These ones are in English because I started reading the first one in English and then I bought the old collection in English. So these ones are in Portuguese, these ones are in English. Here you have another Flipper Gregory book that is Changeling. Uh, but I think I cannot find the other two in the trilogy, so I'm having a bit of a problem with that. And here, and here you have my YA section, at the beginning of it. It's here you have the five books in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, Black Mint Thief, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth and The Last Olympian. Here you have the Emerald Atlas and Chronicle of Fire by John Stephens, I haven't read them. Then you have Wonder by R.G. Palacio, Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley, Fangirl and Eleanor Park by Rainbow Rowell. I'm really happy that this publisher keeps the original covers. I'm really happy about that, but these are translated editions because I could not find the original ones. Dashing Lily Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. My first Christmas book that I bought, and this was also the first book I ordered from Amazon. Probably the last one. I he also, but whatever. Then you have my John Green books. This is Paper Towns and the 14 Hour Stars in the Brazilian edition of Paper Towns, 14 Hour Stars. Then you have these four are in English. And then the one of Catherine's, Will Christine Will Grace and Looking for Alaska, which I've read and loved. Uh, this edition is a little ruined. I bought it in New York and Barnes and Nobles and Let It Snow, which I read last year. Then you have wreck this journal which i'm slowly wrecking and here in this corner you have let me just get you there perks of being a wallflower by steven Shavosky and fantastic beasts and where to find them with the two three ages and the tales of the bars in the portuguese editions on the shelf below we have the duology in carceran and with Encasar and Safik by Catherine Fisher. You have the Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. These are the Brazilian covers. They are very, very shiny. This is my Hunger Games Trilogy box set. You have the second installment and um, the Declaration Trilogy. This is the second one because the first one is lent to a friend in Portugal. Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant. I haven't read Allegiant yet, but I've read these two. I love this trilogy. Now here we have the Selection Trilogy, which I now know it's not a trilogy anymore, but whatever. Selection, Delete, The One, and here we have some short stories. Here's my Harry Potter collection, which does not match, as you can see. And it's getting on my nerves so badly. So these two and these two are an older edition, and then they came out with these editions, with these new covers, and they took the, the older ones from the store, so, so I could not find these covers, only these ones. You have Leviathan, Behemoth and Gliath. I think that's the name, this is the, in the Portuguese edition, it was like 5 euros each, so I was really happy to get the entire trilogy. Then you have War of the Fairies, the first two books didn't continue, then the Chronicles of Narnia. So here's a shelf of non-fiction. Uh, as I told you, I have loads of non-fiction, and here is the place of them. So this is a lot of fiction about Portuguese history, Portuguese queens in a box set, beautiful box set by the way. Another about queens, about a king, but lovers of kings. I just I have a lot of non-fiction books about Portuguese kings. This is an encyclopedia about the private life, the story of the private life in Portugal, and then about how they serve meals and everything. And this is. A very feminist book, in my opinion, is Portuguese with history, so it's all about Portuguese women in history. So here's the shelf below, and I take my Irish doll here. Look at her, she's so cute. I have loads of Irish stuff because my dad went to Dublin and just brought loads of things. So this is non-fiction. These are all non-fiction. This one is about Brazil. And then these are fiction. This is Every All for Love by Ben Jacobson. Boy in the Strap Pajamas by John Boyne. He is Equator. You can probably find Equator in your stores. It's about the turn of the century and it's just it was adapted to a 
TV series in Portugal, but I do not know if you can find that. But the book, I'm probably sure, I'm 90% sure you will find. But yeah, this is my collection of Isabel Stilwell books. She's a, a historical novel writer. She always focuses on women. So this is about Philip of Lancaster. This is about Catherine of Braganza. This is about Dona Maria, Dona Maria Segunda, and the Inquisitor's son. And here is the Maria Elena Ventura books. And here are my Diana of Cadaval books about Maria Pia and other queens who came from Saboya. And then a book about the Stephanie, the queen that died very young in Portugal. So here are my Isabel and the books. You have the sum of the days in a beautiful art bike cover. You have Inej of my soul. You have Tales of Evaluna and Evaluna. Paula, The Island Under the Sea. Maya's Notebook. You have The Infinite Plan. Then House of the Spirits with a cover with Meryl Streep and Glenn Close. You have Fortune's Daughter and Portrait in Sepia, which is kind of a sequel to the Fortune's Daughter. And then City of the Beasts, which is the first in a YA trilogy. Then the Kingdom of the Golden Dragon. And then the Forest of the Pygmies. So here we are in the classics, non classics shelf. Here we have some Ital Calvino, Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, The Catcher in the Rye. Wuthering Heights, Life of Pi, North and South in a beautiful pink and English library edition. The, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, which I never finished. Around the World in 80 Days, A Brief History of the World, which I haven't read yet. The Hobbit, which I've just read. Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass and What She Found There by Lewis Carroll in a beautiful hardcover edition with the original illustrations. We have Little Women here. I don't know if this is an actual full version of Little Women because it seems very, very short. I don't know, but I read this way, 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 way back. And I also read the continuation which is Good Wives and Little Men. More books here. This were my father's. I cannot even know the titles. I know this one is Treasure Island by Robert Lee Stevenson. I have my Jane Austen collection. You have Persuasion here, Mansfield Park, Love and Friendship, which are some earlier works. Then you have a book about Jane Austen, but not, Jane, but not by her, which is The Lost Memoirs of Jane Austen by C.D. James. We have Pride and Prejudice here, and this is Ability, Nothing Arabi, Emma. And you have two classics, The Great Gatsby, Love This Edition, and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte in this beautiful edition. Here are some Portuguese classics. You've got loads of Brazilian classics here, more here, The Odyssey by Omer, some Sherlock Holmes, Albert Camus, more, Brazi more Brazilian classics, Teal, Vida Checa, As Capitas da Areia, Don Casmur, then you have The World of Vim by Isloza, and then Portuguese classics, Viagens da Minha Terra, Cidades Serras, A Relíquia, Os Maias, then you have very small books here, Two by Mia Couto, then you have The Little Prince by Antoine de saint exupéry some small Portuguese classics, uh, by Alma de Garre and Camille Castelbranco. Then you have Umberto Eco Books, The Name of the Rose here. You have The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, who everyone loves now, but in Portugal it was a, it was a bestseller, like in 2008. Then you have Affluenza, a book by Oliver James. This is non-fiction. And you have Lord of the Flies by William Golding in a very, very disturbing cover. Then you have your Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Uh, 100 Years of Solitude and Chronicles of an Foreseen Death Foretold I talked about this before, so you can check that below But it's a, it's this was my first Gabriel Garcia Marquez book And I love this book Then you have The Sacred Life by a Portuguese author Luis Miguel Rocha This was in the New York's best-selling list And then you have 1984 by George Orwell 
So this is what my bookshelf looks like. And now I'm gonna go that way where I have some more books. Okay, so here you are. Here you have some encyclopedias, some museum books. And this is my favorite book of all time. It's an encyclopedia about kings and queens of Portugal that I read when I was like 10 and I still love it. And here you have more books. So here you have The Hobbit, the official movie guide for the desolation of Smaug. You have the visual companion for the, the An Unexpected Journey and the Desolation of Smaug. Wicked Lovely Volume 1 and 2 by Melissa Marr. And then City of, Ever City of Bone, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire. The entire Motel Instrument series in the Brazilian edition by Cassandra Clare. And then the first book in the X All series. That concludes my bookshelf tour. This is so hard to do, guys. I had no idea. But yeah, I hope you liked to watch this video. The books in my December book haul are not yet on my shelves, so you can check those books in that video. I hope you liked this video. All my media stuff is down below. You can check it out if you want to and subscribe. I hope it was not too long for you. And I will see you soon with another one. Bye!